Well, we continue now in the Psalm 13. By the way, I should mention, in the breviary, uh, this psalm, which is very short, six verses, comes in, in the daytime prayer of week one, um, is where they put it. I guess they're trying to help us get back in the presence of God in the middle of the day. Uh, so long, you see. How long will my enemy rise up over me? Adonai, again. Uh, who knows? It looks like he's winning, but he's not. And I can promise you, I know that, God. I forget it, but I know it. So, my enemy, he rises up over me, but it's not going to last. I trust you, God. He's not going to drag me away from you. And then starts verse 4. Look, answer me, Adonai, my God. Give light to my eyes, lest I sleep in death. I'm going to lose it if you don't help me. You see? You see how this is a psalm about being lonely for God? But it's a, it's 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 like the, it's the dark night, uh, and uh, you read John of the Cross about the dark night. You know, it's uh, the part of the dark night is not dark; it's just an excess of light, but it feels dark. So here, in, in verse four, you see, habita uh, aneni. You see, look. Answer me, Adonai, my God. Give light to my eyes. Ha'ira, enlighten my eyes. Make my lies. Well, I think I probably did a better job here. Give light to my eyes. Okay. Uh, lest I sleep in death. I don't want to sleep yet, Lord. I want to know you, interact with you. I don't want to go down the Sheol. And wait and wait and wait. For us, now that the Lord has come and broken all the gates of hell and the gates of uh, uh, Sheol and the rest, you see. But if we're not ready, we still have to suffer longing. And the, and the uh, grace or the, and the suffering of purgatory is yearning, being sure we're going to see God forever, but not seeing him now and wanting it. And that's a fire. But that's that desire stirred up in us, sustained in us by the Holy Spirit. That is the purifying fire. Yearning for God. So the great saints, you see, they said these things too. Huh? I remember St. Catherine of Siena. One of my favorites, I guess, because I quote her a lot. Anyway, often at the Eucharist. The Eucharist. There we are in darkness. We don't even know what we're doing. And we're taking the very body and soul, you know, divinity into our into ourselves, and we hardly know it. Catherine of Siena used to say, Thank you, Lord. Thank you so much. But how long do we have to keep this up in symbol? I want to see you. Which is exactly what this face is saying. How long will you hide your face from me? As long as you want, I know that. But I got to tell you, it is hard waiting for you, trusting you, being polarized by you, and not really seeing you. Uh, so how long must I bear grief in my soul, affliction in my heart by day? How long will my enemy rise up over me? And then, as we've already done, verse 4, Look, answer me, Adonai my God. Give light to my eyes, lest I sleep in death. If this goes on much longer, I'm just going to die. I have got to know you. And as I say, Catherine of Siena, how oh, thank you, Lord, at the Eucharist, we should say that. But how long do we have to keep this up in symbol? This is marvelous. Your body and your blood and your soul and your divinity 
coming into my body, but I want more. I want your whole being to invade my being in an unlosable way that I know it and I have it and I have it forever. And I can just cut loose and praise you forever. Ad ana, how long? Give light to my eyes, lest I sleep in death, lest my enemy claim I have triumphed over him, lest my enemy say I have overcome him. Why? Well, because you're so absent, Lord. He can do what he wants. But you've got to come to help me. This is awful. I know that you can help me. I know you love me. I know you will help me. But Adana, when? You see? Lest my enemy claim I have triumphed over him. Lest my enemy say I have overcome him. And I guess he figures he's gone as far as he can go that way. So now he says, uh, And I, in your chesed, in your loyal love, I have confidence. Son, uh, batach ti. From that word batach, which means hope, confidence, that idea. Um, you see, in your chesed, bachastika batach ti. Yagal libiya. My heart rejoices in your salvation. I will sing of Adonai, because he has rewarded me. Now, is that because the Lord stepped in and and, and uh, revealed himself, lifted the veil a bit, or because he just knows it? You can't fool me, God. You love me. You can't fool me. I'm going to see you forever unless I turn my back on you. So you can't fool me. I, you're hiding. I don't know where you are. And I'm miserable. I'm suffering. I'm having a terrible time. But I've got to tell you, you can't fool me. I know you're going to come and take me to yourself. I know that. Unless I'm so stupid to sin. And I think by your mercy, you wouldn't let me do that. So I know what you're up to. You want me to turn away from everything. Not just be nice to you and then go about my daily life and do whatever I want but to be polarized by you, long for you. You're on my mind. You're driving me nuts. Then I know you. That's what the saints were doing and yearning, yearning for God. And so this uh, psalm, how long? You understand there would be no how long if we didn't have a glimpse an expectation. The how long is not just how long do I have to suffer? It's how long are you going to be absent? Well, if we don't know anything about his presence, you don't know what we're missing when he's absent. But if we do know his presence, then when he's absent, we suffer. We suffer. But that's good for us. Because then we learn, yearn, begin to yearn for him not just because we have consolation, but because it's God. And we love him. See what this psalm is all about? And so, uh, then it starts, I've already begun, but I'm going to start again. Va'ani v'hastika batachdi In your hesed, in your loyal love, I have confidence. My heart rejoices, Yagilibi, in your salvation. I will sing of Adonai, I will sing to Adonai, because he has uh, Gamal Alai, paid me, rewarded me, come to my aid, satisfied me, responded to me, all that. Gamal means mostly to reward or to satisfy. So I'm promising you, Lord, I'm never going to quit singing even in this life. 
Now, uh, you know, I know you hide your face and I fail and I get sick and, I, and I'm going to say, where are you? But I want to tell you now, you can't fool me. I know you're here. You can't fool me. And that's what this psalm is saying, see? You can't fool me. I have confidence in your hesed. My heart rejoices in your salvation. I will sing of Adonai because he has mm, rewarded me, paid me, uh, satisfied. I should have looked at another translation. Over there. See if I got one around here. I wonder how the... This is a beautiful commentary on the Psalms. It's in French, though, by Father Jean-Luc Vesco. And I'm going to, if I can, quickly find it. I'm going to take a look at how he translates that. Uh, should have done this before. Et moi, dans ton amour, and me, in your love, your chesed, I have confidence. My, my heart will exult in your salvation. I will sing to Yahweh um, because he has uh, almost paid me back. He pays a hundred dollars on the nickel, huh? We stub our toe and he says, oh, that's marvelous. What if we really suffered like the saints? Let it all get turned into pure love and carry the world to God. That's why we suffer. Because we have the world on our back. We're supposed to. Not a mistake. And some of the big timers, huh? St. Teresa of Avila understood how this tearing of herself away from everything and moving toward God is suffering. But it's also salvation for many. You know what she used to say? Either let me suffer or let me die. If I can't stay here and offer acts of love to you and have them increase because of the pain and the darkness, well, what's the point of hanging around? I might as well just go and see you forever. Let me suffer or let me die. And these are, you know, these are not neurotics. You know, I mean, these are the sanest people who walk to the globe. And uh, they're touched by God. And these psalms are meant to do that for us. It's a sacrament, you know. Uh, I spent a long time with the psalm, getting it ready. Six little verses. And nothing very tough, you know. But uh, it says, you see, uh, my soul exalts Don, in, in your salvation, you see. Beshua Techa Ashira Ladonai Ki Gamal Alai. Because he has satisfied me, paid me back that idea. Isn't that beautiful? That's, you see, a description of a soul in the dark night oscillating between light and darkness. Amen.